Hello, it's Maddie F. Baby back with some more Kingdom Cup action for you. And today we're going to be talking about Valyrian Steelix. Let's go. Alright, so we have an Altaria versus Altaria mirror match to start against my guy Chris Overton. Thank you for the battles. Valyrian Steelix is going to be still in ground type. Weak to fighting moves from like a Blaziken, a Lucario in the swords. We got the ground moves. It's going to be weak to like the Mudshot and Earthquake from Flygons and other Earthquakes from Steelix, Bone Clubs from Low and Marowak. It's weak to fire moves. So that's like Blast Burn, Charizards and stuff. It's weak to water moves like those Laprises and those Cilios and stuff. So anyways, we we got Lucario versus Lucario action going down. He's going to bring in that Bastiodon. on. We're going to go ahead and get off one power-up punch onto him. He's going to go ahead and shield that Bastiodon on and then take out our Lucario. And yeah, we're going to bust in our Steelix and go and farm some energy for an Earthquake. We could probably finish him off with a Crunch here. Wasn't 100% sure, but I do have a shield and, and they do not. So we know we can get to the Earthquake very easily and just finish that thing off. Alright, so next match we lead with the Steelix and they're going to throw a Charizard at it, out at us. They get the Blast Burn off. I do not think it's a Dragon Claw or I believe that he has enough energy for a Blast Burn. So we decide to shield that and even though we're taking Super effective hits from that Charizard. We're still able to take it out, um, trading one shield um, for it right there. To, to you know, We don't want to take that Blast Burn. But anyways, yeah, he's going to come with Lucario and finish this off. So for the resistances, we resist Bug, Normal, Flying, Dragon, Fairy, and Steel type. That's six types with regular resistances. Then two with double resistances at the immunity tier. There's Rock and Electric, and then it has a three times resistance to Poison. You know, you won't see many Poison moves in this cup or Electric, but you will see some Rock moves, so it will double resist like the Stone Edge and the Smackdown from like a Bastiaton, you know what I'm saying, or a Rock Slide from a Melmetal and the Thundershock from Melmetal, so that's another Pokemon that it'll be able to come and encounter. It can counter that Melmetal really well, it can counter that Bastiaton real well, it can counter stuff that's weak to ground and isn't weak to steel, or isn't super effective to steel. Because anyways, let's go to the ideal moveset, Dragon Tail has the most energy and good coverage for this cup crunch you want to get because that's the cheapest move that you can get as a charge move it's going to be super effective to that alone Marowak which is a good matchup or a good thing for it and then it has the earthquake which is the big nuke boy right it gets to the earthquake a lot quicker than you would think so be very wary of that right all right so we got Alteria versus a Charizard. We're tied in shields. Um, we go ahead and, or now we're tied in shields after blocking that move from the Charizard. Um, I believe that we tanked a Blast Burn in this match. This might be the match where I tanked the Blast Burn to start because we didn't think it was going to be a Dragon Claw coming in. Anyways, so he surfs with us. We're worried there that it's going to be a nice attack, so we go ahead and uh, and block that down. So here comes in the Steelix onto the Lapras. It gets a Surf off immediately, and that's going to hurt us, but not terribly, but we are out of shields, and it is going to take us a while to get to the Crunch and potentially try to farm up a little energy for the next Pokemon. So if we destroy the Lapras and don't have any extra energy, then we probably won't have a chance against the next Pokemon in. It's Lucario. We have no chance, but we were in a bad spot there anyways with a Lapras and a Lucario at the end, so we did a bad job getting to that spot. So anyways, we have Lucario versus a Flygon to start. That's going to be a good matchup for us. We tanked the first Dragon Claw, and then we were going to shield the second one, and he used one shield up to this point, so we had a power-up punch that's almost ready. feel like it's worth it. Hopefully he shields or doesn't shield. Either way, we'll be happy because um, we'll be getting an advantage, and he shields, so we get the shield advantage. And then we go ahead and take down the Pokemon right after. So he brings in the Lapras. I know that it has Water Gun, and I believe that it has Surf. I haven't been getting hit with any Ice moves at this point from the Lapras. So I bring the Altaria um, to go just farm up some energy, and yeah, and go take that thing down. And here comes in the Bastiodon. We're going to switch to our Steelix. This is a very good position for us. We're going to be... Um, resisting the stone edge if we didn't shield there and we're gonna be resisting the smackdowns as well sorry about the camera being finicky right now i had a lot of problems with it last night it was it was a really pretty frustrating night trying to get the get the quality decent so thank you for understanding thank you for putting up with that all the time and yeah i appreciate you so we forget the Lapras is still there so thankfully we had um, some energy to go finish that Lapras up. Anyways, so we switch up our team now. We have a bad lead so we switch into Empoleon. He makes a mistake 
But don't worry, I decide to, to free him of that mistake later. He brings in Lucario, or the Charizard when he probably meant to switch to Lucario, or should have switched to Lucario, either way. But, um, yeah, so he makes a mistake, and then I go ahead and make a massive mistake here. I should have just shielded. I figured with two shields right there that he would try to get me to, to use one to shield bait me. I was thinking it would be a power-up punch, and that he would just try to get the buff going. And that, but yeah, so I don't shield and he does hit me with the Shadow Ball. And that is really stupid. I should have used one shield there just to be certain because he did have enough time to get the energy up. So he had enough time to get the energy and I was just being dumb. And it put me in a terrible match or a spot for the rest of the match. And now I lose with one shield on the board. Then I get a chance to use it. So we decided to run the same team again thinking, I want redemption. I, I could have won that if I didn't play it so dumb. And anyway, so... So we're not sure if he's gonna bring the same team in, but we do. We want to get a win with this team. So we bring in, we bring in our guy, the King Penguin, King Penguin, the Empoleon, hitting up those, hitting up those little, those little uh, waterfalls. Why do I say little? They're not very little. Anyways, he decides just to tank that hydro pump and not burn a shield there. We bring our lone Marowak in, who has a Bone Club ready to go, which Lucario is definitely gonna say, "I need to shield that, bro." And so now this time. We are not making the massive oopsie. We are gonna sh we are gonna shield the shadow ball. We don't care if he does try to shield bait us. We are just gonna not make the oopsie. All right. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he brings in the Alteria. We switch over to our Steelix so we can just uh, wall him out a little bit, farm up some energy. You know what I'm saying? Get some crunches off. Do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with that super effective fast move. So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're just headbangers ball the Steelix. It's the Headbangers Ball. So we get the crunch off. I think we farmed up a teensy bit of energy extra. Um, not too, too much. But yeah, he, he brings... I don't know if I did or not, actually. So he brings in the Lucario and finishes off our Silks. So we have the Alolan Marowak ready to go. And he's got a Bone Club ready to go, bro. He's like, bro fist. Bro fist. Bro fist. All right, so Lapras versus Lucario to start. We decide to come bring in our Lucario to sack it and go and get their Lucario done. So we use one shield thinking we can get to our power up punch and we just do, we're just strong enough. So now we both use a shield and his Lucario is just pretty much dead. I didn't want to not use a the shield there and have that Lucario so healthy bringing in my next Pokemon because I knew Lapras and Steelix were both going to take a lot of damage if I did so. So that's why I decided to use the shield and try to just get that Lucario as down as possible or get the shields down, you know what I'm saying? And anyways, so we're Lapras versus Lapras and I'm like, hmm, is Blizzard going to be a better option instead of surfing each other to death? So I wasn't sure. I tried it once. I think probably surf each other to death would probably be the way to go there um, if you're surf blizzarding like I was with Water Gun. So anyways, yeah, we're just surfing away and we're just not using uh, shields, hoping that we can get his Lapras to be, you know, he'd be pretty down. And now my, my thing is frozen. My computer's frozen. Alright, so we're not going to shield this Surf. And we're going to just try and get as much damage. And get one more Surf off onto this Lapras. And we just get there. So we got their Lapras almost dead. But since we didn't use any of our shields, we still have a one shield advantage. And yeah, so he brings in the Charizard, which is fine. We know that we can tank those, um, those fast moves. And that we can shield the charge move. And yeah, not get blast burn to death and get two crunches off before he can get those two blast burns off and we'll get him to get them down. So Stilix comes in and even though Charizard is gonna be super effective to it, it still goes and gets the gets the job done. He said, peace out. But anyways, hope that you enjoyed this hot Steelix matchup. If you know me, you know that I love Steel Pokemon. This is actually my third video just pretty much about Steelix. So the first ever PvP video I ever did was about Steelix and Alolan Muck and how cool of a combo they were in, in Ultra League. And then we made the Steelix the Conqueror video last month. So this is Steelix Valyrian Steel Game of Thrones hype. Winter is here. It is. It's basically, it's already here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hope that you would decide to subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, all that stuff. Comment down below telling me how okay you think I am. And I think that you're more than okay, just so you know. Anyways, yeah, it's Matty F, baby. Feel in love and appreciate it. Check out the description for the secret link of the day. If you want to support the channel, consider clicking the join button.